Hello, Blender enthusiasts. Welcome to an exciting journey into the world of awesome Blender tools. Today, I have an exciting lineup of Blender new add-ons and generators for 3D artists, tools that are guaranteed to save you tons of precious time. Starting off with Lightning FXs. Supercharge your Blender projects with Lightning FXs, the ultimate lightning effects generator powered by Blender's geometry nodes. Whether you need a single lightning strike, a chaotic storm, or a stylized energy burst, Lightning FXs gives you the tools to bring electrifying energy to your scenes, fast and flexibly. Whether you're after hyper-realistic bolts or stylized, artistic effects, Lightning FXs has you covered. Use pre-built styles or easily add your own. Take full control with easy-to-use sliders and parameters. Add that final cinematic touch with built-in spark and smoke simulations. Fully procedural and physically dynamic. Jump right in with dozens of customizable templates. Just drag, drop, tweak, and render, no time wasted. Looking to populate your scene with vegetation? Tree Designer is a powerhouse. It includes a collection of over 400 trees, from highly realistic to completely stylized, including bonsai and sci-fi options. And each tree is fully tweakable. You can adjust everything, trunk size, branch twist, leaf density, and even wind animations. The latest version also supports flowering trees, adding even more detail to your worlds. A must-have for environment artists. Now, on to Read Apology. Read Topo Flow 4 is currently in beta, and it's already proving to be a huge help. It's designed to make read apologizing characters, sculpts, or scans way more intuitive. Best of all, it runs right inside edit mode, meaning you stay in the familiar Blender environment. You get powerful tools like contours, poly strokes, and poly strips for building edge loops and clean mesh flow. There's also relax and poly pen for refining surfaces. This version adds even more tools and improvements, and it's currently offered at a discount during the beta phase so it's a great time to try it out. Next up, we have Pixel Sort. Pixel Sort brings the famous glitch art algorithm right into Blender. Sort any image or even any video. Exactly like the After Effects implementations, but with even more settings and a substantially cheaper price. Get the look you want with procedural parameters and enhance your final render. It's built fully with Blender's geometry nodes. Further next, we have Easy HDRI by Alt Tab. It is a powerful little tool that removes the pain of setting up HDRIs manually. No more messing with nodes or searching through folders. You get a handy panel directly in the shader editor where you can drag and drop HDRIs, rotate them, tweak brightness, blur them, and even preview changes instantly. The best part? It's lightning fast. Swapping HDRIs during look dev or test renders takes seconds. If you frequently work with outdoor scenes or studio lighting setups, this tool is a real time saver and helps keep your workflow streamlined and frustration free. Next, we have Adaptive Curve, a procedural drawing tool for curve based modeling. It allows you to sketch shapes as curves and automatically manages the resolution using an adaptive multiplier based on length and detail density. That means no more fiddling with unnecessary subdivisions. You can turn your strokes into mesh curves and tweak everything from bevel depth to curve radius right inside the modifier stack. It stays lightweight, but gives you enough power for layout and shape cleanup, without needing to go into sculpt mode. It's small in scope, but makes modeling clean, smooth curves much easier while keeping the process fully procedural. Now let's take a look at Solidify Plus, an enhanced version of Blender's classic Solidify modifier. This tool extends functionality by adding control over rim loops, edge creasing, and custom extrusion profiles. You get more nuanced thickness adjustments thanks to sliders and the ability to define the shape using a profile curve. In addition, you can control the beveling and creasing independently for inner, outer, and rim areas, making this a powerful option for hard surface modeling. The great part is that there's a free version for basic use, and a paid upgrade unlocks deeper node-based customization options. Glucose is working on something massive, V-Dynamics, currently in beta, is a high-performance elastic body simulation system built on a cutting-edge algorithm known as Gaia Vertex Block Descent. This tool is focused on ultra-fast, high-accuracy simulation of elastic materials in Blender. Whether you're animating vertices, setting up complex collisions, or simulating different materials, 
This add-on has performance that's measured in seconds per frame, even with thousands of elements. There's even a technical paper behind this, so if you're a developer or physics geek, it's worth a read. This has the potential to become a must-have tool for physically-based animation. Up next is a productivity powerhouse, Genie, a bundle from CG Matter that includes eight procedural add-ons. These tools cover everything from fences and stairs to pipes, tiles, terrains, and more. If you build large environments, this bundle can massively cut down modeling time. Each add-on is purpose-built and lightweight, and when combined, they give you tons of control for generating scene details fast. Whether it's urban layouts or fantasy worlds, Genie is a great asset for procedural modeling fans. Back to the video now. First on the list is Video Depth AI add-on. This add-on allows you to turn your videos into 3D animated scenes instantly. 100% cloud-based processing with no setup. Optional local mode, I guess NVIDIA GPU is required. Animate full 3D displacement from videos. Bonus text to image generator included. Up next, we have FlexCam. FlexCam turns Blender's static camera into a live camera operator. Whether your character slash object sprints, soars, or spins, it dynamically pans, tilts, and zooms, keeping every moment perfectly framed with a natural feel. Automatically follows, frames, adjusts FOV. Zero extra constraints or empties to manage. Works in both EV and cycles. Switch from handheld tracking to a locked off tripod in a single click or sprinkle in keyframes to create your own camera moves. And a lot more features. Also check out his other amazing add-ons. Next on the list is Pencil Pro, an amazing generator that gives your models a hand-drawn, sketch-style look without needing to mess with shaders or nodes. Just add it to your object and it instantly transforms the appearance, wrapping it in clean pencil strokes that react beautifully to lighting and curves. Since it works in screen space, the strokes maintain their consistency no matter how you move your camera or zoom in. You can adjust the roughness of the lines, and it even holds up nicely when animated, making it perfect for stylized scenes or concept-style renders. Now let's look at the 3D Japanese Roof Generator a fantastic asset for anyone doing traditional architecture or fantasy environments. It's built entirely with geometry nodes, so you get full procedural control, curve, width, rig height, tile spacing, and how much the corners curl upward. It's all adjustable. You'll also find a handful of stylized presets with built-in UVs for materials like ceramic and wood shingles. Perfect for everything from temples to fantasy cities. On the flip side, GP Sketch flips the process. It lets you draw directly into the 3D space. With this tool, your quick pencil style gestures are turned into real 3D geometry with actual depth, shadows, and lighting. Just scribble out a shape, hit convert, and suddenly you've got a physical object in your scene. It even supports extrusion and allows you to use custom meshes as your brush strokes. Plus, the built-in gizmos make editing super simple. Positioning and rotating your strokes feels intuitive and fast. Up next, we have Pure Sky Pro. Pure Sky Pro was recently updated to version 7. This major update brings incredible new features and significant improvements to enhance your procedural skies in Blender. Ranging from subtle atmospheres to detailed volumetric clouds and a hyper-realistic moon, Pure Sky Pro is unique in allowing its volumetric clouds to cast shadows in EV Next making it easy to generate hyper-realistic god rays within your clouds. Pure Sky Pro is fully compatible with the EV Next and Cycles rendering engines, guaranteeing magnificent results regardless of your workflow, and comes with a lot of sky and cloud presets to begin with. So if you want realistic and fast skies with a click and don't want to spend weeks to create from scratch, then Pure Sky Pro is for you. Next on the list is iForge. It is a dedicated eye generator for Blender, and it's way more powerful than you'd expect. You get full procedural control over iris design, pupil dilation, veins, lens effects, and more. It's great for creating realistic or stylized eyes and comes with a rigged version for animating blinks, eye movement, and focus. Best of all, it's non-destructive, so iteration is easy. Perfect for character artists who need consistent but customizable eye designs. Next, we have True Dark Themes Pack. 
So if you get tired with Blender's default dark theme, then you should take a look at this as it is designed to be easy on your eyes so you can use Blender for a lot longer. Next up, we have Mega Assets add-on by Russell Studios. Mega Assets is a feature-rich, beautifully designed Blender add-on that lets you browse, download, and apply over 5,000 plus free CC0 assets, including PBR materials and HDRIs, directly inside Blender. What truly sets Mega Assets apart is its ability to automatically build advanced, highly accurate PBR material and HDRI lighting setups. These setups are production-ready, fully customizable, and designed to elevate your scenes instantly. No technical setup required. I recommend you visit the add-on page for more information. Up next is the Organic Add-on by 3D Dude allows you to create abstract, dynamic organic shapes easily. It includes gel-like materials, pattern presets, and procedural drawing capabilities. This system gives you full control over shape, density, collisions, and detail. No tedious modeling required. Just turn it on, tweak the settings, and watch your scene come to life. Next up, iCity has been updated to version 1.3, and it's a complete rewrite of iCity to improve speed, efficiency, and future compatibility. Most of the assets were recreated with higher visual quality while being twice as lightweight as previous versions. Export your iCity scenes in GLTF format with full support for Geometry Nodes instances, perfect for use in Unreal Engine, Unity, and other external tools. All in all a cleaner, more responsive UI, up to 1,200% speed increase, and a lot more. Next, we have Fast Render, made available by Bad Normals. With Fast Render, you can render 4x faster because standard rendering requires rendering every single frame. With Fast Render, Blender renders every second or fourth frame, and the missing frames are generated from the existing ones in less than a second per frame, saving time massively. Basically, it's like NVIDIA's frame gen, but for Blender. And there is more stuff you can do with it. Like, you can also use frame generation on already existing frames to increase the frame rate. Supports GPU and CPU, but AMD GPUs are not supported. And make sure to check out his other amazing add-ons, AnyTree and Fractal Machine. Creating beautiful, stylized clouds in Blender often requires a combination of time and complex technical skills. But not anymore, as Rai has made stylized cloud generator for all of you. Designed mainly with NPR slash stylized renders in mind, this tool lets you craft stunning skies effortlessly. It simplifies the process from idea to render, allowing you to bring a variety of artistic styles, such as anime, painterly, semi-realistic, to life faster than ever. Up next, we have Tear Painter. This powerful add-on allows you to create realistic tears and fabric with brush strokes. You can customize length, density, weft, warp angle, thickness, and more. With ready-to-use presets and layers of detail, your fabric clothes will look incredibly lifelike. Want to create terrains quickly in Blender? Take a look at Easy Terrain Generator. You can create any kind of terrain easily in no time with this Geometry Nodes Terrain Generator. It uses complex noises arrangements and customizable shaders to quickly set up realistic environments. You can choose between six terrain types and tweak them as you need by changing seed, height, details, and plenty of other handy parameters. Choose your base shader and make it unique. Add sand or snow, change the maximum slope on which it appears, and much more. Add realistic and customizable water. Change its level, color, or volumetric density. Add lakes and control seed, expansion, depth, and as well as, you can activate tree and grass scattering to add life to your scene. Control the scale, density, maximum slope or altitude, and more. If you are like me, who have a lot of add-ons installed. Then the end panel manager helps organize the end panel, which can quickly become cluttered, especially if you've installed many add-ons. This tool lets you create custom tabs, assign add-ons to them, and collapse or hide sections you don't use frequently. After installation, you can start creating tabs right away, naming them based on your workflow, e. g. Grouping modeling tools under one tab and rendering tools under another. This makes it faster to locate the tools you need without scrolling through a long list. You can also exclude certain add-ons from being managed if you rarely use them but don't want to uninstall them. Additionally, the add-on includes update management, 
allowing you to check for and download the latest versions of your add-ons directly from the panel. For anyone working on diverse projects or frequently switching between workflows, the in-panel manager is a great way to customize and optimize Blender's interface. And that's a wrap. If any of these add-ons caught your eye, you can find all the links in the description below. Let me know in the comments which one you're most excited to try. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and check out some of my previous videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.